what is up my fam welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here welcome to my youtube channel my name is Enlise Cruz and I'm gonna be showing you <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you how I cook my recipes if you're not familiar with my Instagram I post recipe videos I will insert a little video here so you guys can check that out <laughs> So yeah, I'm making hibachi chicken. I have all my ingredients here ready. I just have to peel the carrots and wash them because they're a little bit dirty. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you a day in my life. I'm gonna be going grocery shopping, cooking, and showing you a little bit of a try on haul. So I wash my dishes, I have everything ready. I have my tripod set up. So while I'm filming this video on YouTube, I am also filming a recipe video for Instagram so you guys can see the reality of my life. <laughs> I'm just peeling these ugly nasty carrots and then I am going to start chopping up my vegetables, prep them, and then I already have my rice here cooking. I have this rice machine, it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, got it for like 90 bucks. I think but it's a really good rice cooker I'm so happy that I purchased this because it's so easy to make rice I put two cups of rice and then one cup of chicken broth and one cup of water and it makes it so good right babe mm -hmm. Thanks. oh say hi to the camera babe I want to turn it around no just say hi hi <laughs> <laughs> he's so shy so this is how I set up my filming I have my tripod here it's broken by the way and then I have my second tripod here um, when I want to film like other frames. But this frame here is overlaying my food. So what I usually do is I'm either cutting or putting seasonings in it, this part of my video. And then I got this tripod set up which is from Amazon. Um, I found it like randomly on my Instagram and I was like I have to get it. It's I film recipe videos all the time so I had to get it. And it definitely changed my video game. So yeah, this is behind the scenes of my recipe video. And by the time I upload this, I will have the recipe video up. You can check out my other videos too. And yeah, go check it out. I'm just dicing them into slices. Because I'm making hibachi. And we're gonna have carrots in there. I did Instacart everything and they forgot my sesame oil so I'm gonna have to substitute it with olive oil. I know it would be much better with sesame but if you are following this recipe instead of olive oil, use sesame. So I diced my carrots. Is it diced or sliced? Diced is little. Okay, so I sliced my carrots into small pieces that is going to be a part of the vegetables now i'm just going to cut up my yellow onion and then cut up my zucchini zucchini <laughs> and uh, yeah so i like to prep my vegetables first so i have them ready so as soon as i am ready to cook my veggies i can throw them in there quickly it just makes the process a lot quicker so oops don't cut yourself all right so Chop it up my onions, you gotta press record. This is the process of filming content. And all my meals are healthy meals because I am a fitness girl, so my meals are all healthy so that everyone can follow the recipes and have meal ideas because I know how hard it is to come up with meal ideas. Most of my meals are meal preps that you can do at home, so if you want to make in bulk of my meals that I make, you can. So you can store it in your fridge and eat it for like two to three days. It'll last until two to three days. Slice that shit. Oh, you want, you want to see me slice it? Okay. Yeah, slice and dice it right now. Take the butt out. Listen, I'm not a chef, but believe it or not, my skills have improved a lot in cooking. And the more I cook, the more I get better at it. I think I do want to go to culinary school so that I can be a top chef. <laughs> Imagine, like, the next Gordon Ramsay. That would be so cool. I think that's enough. I think it's because you know that the food is the key to my heart.
<laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna dice up my chicken now. I already had my mushrooms pre-sliced. That's how I bought them. And then I have my zucchini cut up, my onions, and my carrots. Now I just gotta dice up my chicken. You see this little setup here I got going on? It's like... And I got my little recipe list there so that I make sure I have everything right. I write down everything very organized so that it's not all over the place. All right, so I'm gonna marinate my chicken. I probably should have marinated my chicken first. The ideal way is to let it marinate first. But I really wanted to get the veggies out of the way. I have the setup up here now so that you can see the perfect view of the seasonings. I love putting seasonings this way because it makes the video look a lot better. One tablespoon of olive oil. I just eyeball it by now. One tablespoon of olive oil is like in my head now. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of soy sauce preferably low sodium so that it is less salt this shit about to come out good mm, <laughs> yum two tablespoons of poison sauce poison is that how you say it tablespoons of poison sauce and then I just clean up around the area so it looks clean I swear these videos come out so clean but in reality it takes a lot of work and you have to keep cleaning up as you work so that it stays clean I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a half of ginger because Ginger is a spicy, and we like spice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? That definitely was the. I think that was it. Yeah. So then we're gonna add four garlic cloves. Cloves. Cl cloves. Cloves. Okay, so we're gonna add. <laughs> <laughs> I like garlic a lot, so I'll probably add five. One, two, three, four, five. What was this called again? My garlic. Oh my gosh. Garlic. Garlic press. That's it. Take my garlic press. And scrape it off. Definitely go check out this video how it turns out so you guys can see like how like it turns out in the video but this is like the reality of it all the process the process right the process it's getting messy oh my goodness okay mix up my chicken ASMR <laughs> I'm gonna make yum yum sauce like what they usually like serve at hibachi places. So this is gonna be hibachi at home. So now making the yum yum sauce, I'm adding one fourth cup of light, one fourth cup of light mayonnaise. I don't wanna like bang and then you can't hear me. Half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Then <laughs> half a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Half a tablespoon of mustard. I'm adding ketchup. One tablespoon. To the yum yum sauce, smoked paprika. Garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha. Whoa. Mm. <laughs> All right, perfect. 
Now we're gonna cook the chicken. The chicken marinated, this is how it looks. I'm gonna cook the chicken, medium high, and then I'm gonna add the veggies. The meal's almost done. Thank the Lord. Facts. <laughs> we're gonna get my boyfriend's rating to see how the food is. So far, he likes all my meals. So. All her meals been 8 out of 10 marons all day. 8 out of 10, that's what I get? An 8? If I give you a 10, I was like, I like you too much. Then I'm doing it for the, you know? I'm lying, your meals are... 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10 marons all day. A 1 tablespoon of olive oil. Then we're going to add our shaken. I'm pushing the veggies to the side. And I'm warming up the chicken. Look how good that looks. Ah! And then, voila! You did how it. is it? Delicious. This one's good, right? This one you did. They've all been good. The yum yum sauce made it really good. Alright guys, so I just finished cooking. Uh, I want to show you that little try on haul that I mentioned. I do wish I had more sun right now to show you this try on haul, but the sun did go down a little bit, so it is cloudy and uh, I just wish I had more light for this video. I am ready to show you guys this try on haul that I mentioned earlier and I just received a package from Adenola and I do have a set on right now. I wanted to try it on before I showed you guys and I like it so I am going to be showing you a few pieces that I got from them. You guys know I don't gatekeep so I'm gonna name every single color. All my sizes are a size small by the way in leggings and sports bras so everything that you will be seeing is a size small but anyways let's get into this try on haul. Alright so I have my ring light here hopefully that helps with the lighting but the first set I have on is the ultimate leggings, all the leggings that I received from Adenola are the ultimate leggings. This is the tank sports bra. The color of this set is coffee bean. And if you guys know how I feel about all neutral colors, all brown shades, I absolutely adore those colors. I always lean towards neutrals or blacks. <laughs> the material is super smooth. This is definitely an outfit that you can run errands in, not just to the gym. So if you want to go to Target, if you want to go to the supermarket, if you want to go grocery shopping, whatever it is, you can wear this little set, especially during the spring. Yeah, so this is the back of it. Super duper cute. I'm gonna bring it up close so that you guys can see the color it is a deep tone brown the sports bra is very supportive so I love it and in the bottom of the tank there's another piece of fabric here with the padding so you get the extra support and it's compressive which I really love girl look at this color need to bring it up close so you can see how beautiful this deep teal color is look how supportive the sports bra is it makes your boobs look so good <laughs> my boobs don't look as small anymore <laughs> it has that extra support compressed and it gives you a little lift if you know what I mean <laughs> this is the cross back sports bra I did show you the um, tank sports bra so this is the cross back it has a few strings in the back but it's open in the back you guys know how i love the open backs on my thing <laughs> yeah let's bring it up close real quick again for this color oh oh i'm loving it i love this color they have very unique colors and i'm loving all the colors that they sent me i definitely don't have these in my wardrobe so i'm excited to have these um added to my collection all right, so this is the color taupe brown. This bra is different. I'm bending down, I'm sorry guys. Let it focus real quick. <laughs> okay, this is a different sports bra. This is the double strap sports bra. How cute is this? Again, these sports bras make your breasts look so good. <laughs> 
little spin around. Tell me this set isn't so cute though. These are definitely like a go-to summer set, if you know what I mean. This is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Alright, bring it back again real quick. A little spin real quick. If you know what I mean real quick. <laughs> Are you guys tired of me yet? Because <laughs> I'm so annoying. Alright, so I'm showing you guys the Tank Sports Bra again in a different color. This is the color Sea Green. It is a beautiful, unique green color. Let me go into the light so you guys can see it. I'm loving this color a lot. I love every single color that they sent me. This is such a bomb set. And it's very seamless too. It literally feels like extra skin. So if you like seamless leggings that feel like butter and feels like extra skin, Go check it out. So uh, we ate a good meal, made my pre-workouts. I'm about to head to the gym. I got my Adelina set on, ready to go. It is chilly outside, more than chilly, it's work outside. So I had to throw on this sweatsuit over. You guys know I love my sweatsuits, so yeah, let's go. So we just finished our killer workouts. My quads are literally about to explode. The pump is insane. We are at Trader Joe's, about to grocery shop. So I'm gonna give you guys a little grocery haul. I don't think I'm gonna film in Trader Joe's, but I'll definitely film everything that I got for you guys so you guys can see what I shopped for. Um, I'm very basic when it comes to food. I just make it fun by adding a little bit of spice and flavor. But yeah, let's go into Trader Joe's. dip mini cucumbers as a snack we got turkey breasts I think I got two of these yeah I got two of these turkey breasts for sandwiches chicken sausages for breakfast I got packs of chicken and steak so I'm gonna show you which ones I got my boyfriend loves steak and he got a whole bunch of freaking pieces <gasps> my goodness how many pieces of steak did he get alright so we have ribeye 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 yep Three pieces of ribeye, more ribeye. Why did he get so many ribeyes? Okay, so three pieces of ribeye. I guess these are bigger pieces. I don't know, they're both ribeyes, so I don't understand why he <laughs> got so much red meat. Two packs of chicken. I do have some chicken in my fridge that I'm gonna use. These dumplings are so good. I know they're not good for you, but I consider this my cheat. They're the steamed pork and ginger soup dumplings. Trader Joe's brand. It's so good and they're always freaking all gone every time I go there, so I'm glad I got them. Frozen shrimp. I usually make that with pasta or I make shrimp tacos, which I love. Bell peppers, red, yellow, and orange. Beef jerky, teriyaki, little snack. Tortellini, you already know spinach tortellini. That is one of the recipes that I have on my page. My cheese because I'm thinking about making pizza this week, so maybe even tomorrow because I'm craving it and homemade pizza is the best. Zucchini, more zucchini. Spinach dip for my chips. It's sour cream and spinach dip, it's probably so good. I never tried it before, but I can't wait to try it. Green beans. Greek yogurt with honey. 
Greek yogurt is high in protein, so that's really good for a snack or a pre-workout snack. More spinach tortellini. Some orange peach mango. Definitely high in sugar, but you know what? It's so good. Monster cheese for my turkey sandwiches. Spinach, either with the salad, either with my eggs, either with pasta. I love spinach. Um, this is everything. I don't know how to say it. I think my boyfriend knows how to say it. He picked this out. Everything ciabatta rolls. Ciabatta rolls. I don't know, guys. Pita bread, because I do want to make gyros, so I can't wait to try that. English muffins, I usually have um, butter English muffins in the morning or I'll make a little turkey bacon and get you. Oh my gosh, I forgot the turkey bacon. <laughs> Why? I guess I'm just gonna have to pick up turkey bacon tomorrow. Oh my gosh, that's like the best part. More avocado oil, stock up, protein bars. I got a whole bunch. I got the Barbells protein bar, caramel cashew, and I got white chocolate almond. I haven't tried the white chocolate almond, but I do always get the caramel cashew. Honestly, I'm gonna try it right now. And taste test this for you guys. Mmm. It's good has white almond crunches on top. So good. I got heavy whipping cream for pasta. Fruits, blueberries and strawberries. Usually for my yoga bowls, oh, I have a fruit bowl in the morning on this side with my eggs. I got a carton of eggs. I can never have enough eggs. I have eggs almost every day. Um. This is red onion and a star fruit. Lemon. I usually have lemon water in throughout the day or I'll add lemon to literally almost all my food. Um, the green pepper that was supposed to go with the other bell peppers. <gasps> mandarins. My go-to. I'm literally constantly eating mandarins. I'm addicted. I can't stop. Oranges. He has so many oranges. You gotta finish this. I swear, before they go bad. And then some mangoes that are not ripe yet. But I'm gonna let it sit out so that it can ripe up. Potatoes. I like the golden potatoes. I usually season them really good. And I have that on my <laughs> recipe video on my Instagram too, so you guys can check that out. This is the potatoes, and then I guess tomorrow we'll get missing stuff that we need. Like, um, I do need the turkey bacon, like that's my favorite in the morning, but I guess I can have turkey. Chicken sausages for now. That is the grocery haul. Now I have to put this away and make some space in my fridge. All right, so guys, I'm ending the video off here. I have to put all those groceries away. I have to shower and uh, get ready to be comfy in my PJs and watch Netflix with Bay. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoy me chefing it up and seeing behind the scenes of how I make my recipe videos. They are not easy. They take a while but they do come out good. I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Mwah.